Really? This might be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Mountain Dew SA, which admittingly took me a second to figure out is USA with Mountain Dew. So apparently they are releasing a patriotic flavor, mixing three flavors of Mountain Dew that really should have nothing to do with each other, Code Red, Whiteout, and Voltage. And I'll just come out and say it right now, I'm really not looking forward to this one. Um, the color is not very appetizing, it's not very patriotic either, it's like a pinkish purple, kind of like Supernova, but I don't think it's going to be that good. Uh, the bottle cap says red, red, white, and dew, and just everything about this flavor says why. Why did they make this flavor? I have no idea. It doesn't help that I already know I'm going to hate two-thirds of this flavor. I hate Code Red. I hate Voltage. In fact, famously, the first time I tried Voltage, I diluted it with regular Mountain Dew because it was just so overpowering. So this time, they've decided to dilute it for me with Code Red and uh, Whiteout. Now, I love Whiteout. Whiteout is my favorite um, alternate Mountain Dew flavor. I love Pitch Black, which is upstairs. Maybe I'll just mix that, too. We could have a whole red, white, blue, and black party. But, uh... Yeah, this is the new flavor, Mountain Dew, S.A. Woo, patriotic. Um, don't know why they did this. Kind of hoping it's going to taste like Whiteout with like a slight cherry aftertaste, and maybe they just forgot to put the voltage in. Uh, we shall see. Um, you know, if nothing else, this should be an interesting reaction. Uh, I can't believe I found this flavor. Actually, um, my number one fan, Shea Goodbye, tipped me off to its existence, and I was like, I'm never going to find this. I don't even know what this is. Smells different. Almost reminds me of uh, Supernova, the way it smells. Uh, I do like how they have the description, like usually they have like Mountain Dew fused with whatever. It says Dew united with three flavors. Now if it's Dew SA, does that mean that like the SA still stands for like States of America? So it's like Mountain Dew States of America? I mean, is, is Pepsi taking over the country? I don't know. But we're going to try this thing out here. Certainly a fizzy little one. I noticed some Mountain Dew flavors have more fizz than others. It probably doesn't show up on the camera, but like there's like a ton of bubbles that just started coming up when I opened it. Which isn't uncommon for soda, but still. Usually the more seltzery ones are the lousier ones. Let's see what this one brings. It smells weird. Alright, yeah, this is pretty awful. This is pretty awful. First thing I remembered as soon as I tasted this is why I hate Voltage. This tastes very similar to Voltage. There's a little bit, I could taste the code red. Can't really taste the whiteout, of course, because that would be too great. Yeah, this is awful. I, I don't know why they insist on making drinks like this. Like the, the, the ratio of like corn syrup to everything else is just so far out of whack. It's voltage. I'm like reliving voltage right now, and that was not a good flavor. I, I tried not to hate voltage. Oh god, here comes that aftertaste. Where is the whiteout? Like, I, I don't even taste whiteout in this. I taste code red a little bit, but I mostly taste voltage. Ah, oh, somebody get the Mountain Dew to dilute this. This is awful. <laughs> this is freaking awful. Oh my god. Uh, it's just so ridiculously sweet, and it's trying to be two different fruits here. Even Code Red toned it down more than this. This is like over-the-top Code Red. Maybe there's a little whiteout in it. I don't know. Maybe the color is what makes it whiteout because it's like a subdued red. I have no idea where the whiteout is. Uh, maybe I missed it. Let me take another sip. I mean, it would have been kind of cool if they could somehow, like, time release it so, like, when you drink it, you first taste the whiteout, then you taste the code red. I don't think that's possible, but... No, you just kind of taste them all at once, except you don't taste the whiteout, because on the Venn diagram, the whiteout's the little space in the middle, and Voltage is a giant circle that just takes over the whole thing. So there you go. It's a redecorated bottle of Voltage. Uh, it's kind of funny. I haven't had Voltage in probably, like, six or seven years. As soon as I tasted this again, I was like... That's what I was missing. You know, there are certain flavors you just avoid. And this is definitely going to be one of them. And Voltage was the big one. I, I guess I can't say this is worse than Voltage, because it's not all Voltage. Just tastes like it's all Voltage. Oh, God, why am I still drinking this? All right, well, there you have it. Uh, it doesn't really taste very patriotic. Uh... You know, it's something. I'll probably muddle through this bottle and then never drink it again. 
Uh, this is Mountain Dew SA. This is uh, pretty terrible, not gonna lie. Uh, I like the logo. Uh, that's kind of something. Uh, that's decent, you know, very patriotic and s full of stars. And God, this is so bad. So I think I got some got some Baja Blast over here from Taco Bell. I, I just I can't. If you guys remember, Baja Blast isn't my favorite either. But God, at least it has a flavor. This is just like insanely sweet for no reason. Stupid marketing ploy. Why couldn't the color flavors be good? Like, whiteout's good, but the red and blue one are terrible. Either that or just make, like, an Italian one and use, like, a green flavor. I don't know. I mean, this is just bad. This is just... I, I can't. I can't. You know what? You've already seen me drink, like, four or five sips of the thing. So there you have it. Mountain Dew SA. I would recommend you don't do it. There you go.